Welcome to the Geek Easy Fellow Geeks. Let's open a beverage of your choice because today, being Friday, it's another edition of Frightful Fridays in which I will be reviewing a movie I found on Tubi called The Wolf of Snow Hollow. Okay, I've been trying to pay a little bit more attention to, there's a kind of a rating, a star rating system on a lot of these things, you know, like, it'd be like 3.4 out of 10 and stuff, and just, I've been kind of brushing off some of the lower ranking ones, and it's kind of getting hard to find ones that are above 5. And I think this one was at like a just under 5 out of 10 or just above 5 out of 10. I said, okay, I've seen this advertised a few times before. So I might as well give it a shot. Basic plot of this is there's this small little ski resort of a town. Small sheriff, you know, small sheriff's department. It's a tourist town and it relies on skiing. Uh, they don't have a lot of crime there, just the typical type of stuff that they'd have for this in a resort town and all that. The, the sheriff uh, is an old man who is basically... doesn't really know what he's doing, but his, his son is his assistant, and there's all the rest of the sheriffs, and they just sort of try and keep him shoved off to the side as a figurehead, and they do all the work. The son, who is the central character, is an alcoholic with anger issues, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna, I kind of know where this is gonna go on this, but, uh, It starts out with a a couple showing up to this little cabin they rented to full moon, and after a few minutes, the woman gets killed viciously by a werewolf, and you don't, or you know, what they is by what they think is a wolf. She's kind of torn apart, and she's missing her happy place, shall we say. I don't want to get, I don't know whether I can, how detailed I can go into this on the channel, but yeah, kind of get, what are we getting at? Uh, <coughs> and so, you know, they, they, you know, they're trying to deal with it, the, 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 Deputies are all kind of arguing amongst themselves as to whether, you know, if it was really a wolf or a guy doing stuff. They don't think it's a werewolf yet. And as to whether or not they should try and solve the problem, the case themselves, or hand it over to the stateies or the feds because they think it's a serial killer. And uh, they're not equipped for that type of stuff. But as things go, um, you there's more of them, and there's more of them. And as the killings go on, you're also having issues with the sheriff's son, the simple character is John, uh, who is trying to deal with getting his father to retire because he's being stubborn and he, you know, and him trying to crack the case. 
he starts drinking again. And he's also divorced with a daughter who's an ungrateful little girl. And his wife is, you know how they always have the ex-wives of being oh so pleasant. So it's a combination between the two of those, all the pressure of him trying to solve this case. And there's also discussion as to whether or not it is actually a werewolf or not. Because you know, a couple of people suggest that it's a werewolf. Because it only, it's only happening on full moon nights. And you see, you know, tracks. And, you know, John is still saying, it's not a wolf, it's a guy. And, you know, you know, the, the, that typical aspect of the any werewolf story where they're trying to figure out, you know, the killings and all that stuff. There's that part to the story. You know, they have to do, you know, obviously find out and then who it is, you know, or what is happening. But a lot of the story is the, the the investigation is almost secondary because it's showing John how he's dealing with it. You know, he's doing this investigation, and he is just becoming this raving asshole. You know. Because it's the stress, you know, the stress, and he started to drink again. And here's one of the things that really bugged me about this movie was it wasn't the fact that you know it's the same old sort of repetitive thing of the argument over whether there is it's actually a you know, a a wolf or especially a werewolf. Or a human, you know, you always see those in these movies. But it's just the, the way this guy acts, the way he's doing it, he just becomes this, like I said, this raving asshole and starts drinking again. And there would be no way in hell, if this is actually a real police department or sheriff's department, this guy would be allowed to stay and, you know, you know, let alone stay in charge of the investigation, let alone be a cop. Because he's just, he's getting physically abusive to his, uh, to his subordinates. He's drinking again, which is, you know, you shouldn't be allowing a someone who's that bad of a drinker to have one a position of authority and to have all those yeah you know, easy access to all his weapons and all that stuff. You know, was, they'd be like, "Yeah, dude, you need to," you know. And yet the cops, his subordinates, don't do anything except one of them actually physically fist fights him over stuff, and it's not to relieve him of his authority or anything. And it just kind of it gets tedious. I mean, I, I know they, they sort of want to have a journey for this character because he's, when he started out, he's, you know, reasonably in control and then this starts happening and it kind of comes down and then you have him at the very end come out of it and stuff. But there's just no way that this, this guy would be allowed. And, you know, this... I've watched a lot of these other movies where, you know, the, you have someone who has, like, a, is a little bit out of control or drinking from, and they're saying, like, it, it doesn't get anywhere near this bad. They're not getting abusive and stuff like this. This one, it, they just take it way the hell too far way too far and it's almost kind of to the distraction of the rest of the story uh, you have 
the kind of other top deputy is the, it's the sheriff, his dad, and then, you know, John, and then there's this woman who is, I guess she's the next in line, who is the more reasonable and level-headed one of the two. And I can't really tell whether you know, she has some sort of, you know, ro romantic feelings for him because you, you, you sort of get the vibes but nothing is ever said or acted upon. Uh, and she starts, you know, she's sort of holding a couple things together, the situation together a bit. And at one point, she seems to figure something out and then is going to get this piece of evidence but then it's not ever brought up again. You don't see her collect, you know, what this piece, you know, it's like, she's like, oh, this is how we think. She hears about it and it's like, oh, she thinks she figures it out or something, and then she's going to get it, and then you don't see anything beyond her rushing to this person's place. You don't see what happens there up until she shows up to help in another situation. So that whole, there's a whole section missing that should have been there, so there's these, you know, plot threads that are inserted there and then just don't, literally just stop in the middle of it. And then there's a there's a section at the end where you're like, wait, why is she doing this? What what does she have to do with the sheriff's John's daughter when there's, there's no connection between them beforehand? So you know it's just I sort of see what they're trying to do. They just didn't do it well at all. And then what they did do. There's things that they shouldn't have emphasized as much, but they overemphasized it to the point of it, it being a distraction from the rest of the story. And on top of it, the acting was mid. Now, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's nowhere near. Um, the level of the room, from what I've seen of the room, I haven't seen the whole thing, it's, you know, it's nowhere near that bad. But I don't even think it's high enough to get a Razzie. Because a Razzie has to be, have, have at least a standard of badness, and this one, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to give it a two out of five, because there's not... There's not a lot of, there's really not any suspense or horror, really, in this. It's supposed to be a werewolf movie. It's supposed to be a werewolf movie. Um, they do show a werewolf creature. Uh, it's more of the, you know, leans more on the murder mystery type of, who it is and why they're doing it and, you know, the wolf and all that stuff. Uh, but there's no real, there's no real horror to it. No real suspense. It's just more of the, you know, thought the TV was on. Uh, it's just, it's just sort of like a mystery type thing. And, uh, I, I wasn't impressed, so I'm going to give it a 2.0 out of 5 and say, don't waste your time. Really, it's just, it's not, it's not worth viewing. You know, I'll watch it so you don't have to. Just don't, don't bother. It's 2 out of 5. And uh, let me know if you saw the movie. 
if you watched it all the way through like I did, and what you thought of it, if you watched it. And uh, like, subscribe, most of all, try and enjoy your horror movies.